Let's get started with half of one bunch of fresh asparagus and I'm cutting off the bottom stems and that leaves us with the tender part of these beautiful green asparagus tips. Grate one cup of fresh Parmesan cheese and this will be used in our cheese mixture which we will prepare next. Okay, let's prepare the cheese mixture. Over low heat, add one tablespoon of butter. Let that butter melt and liquefy. Add two cloves of minced garlic, and remember, Keep your heat low because you do not want to burn the garlic. We're just going to saute it for about 30 seconds until it becomes aromatic. Now in a mixing bowl, go ahead and pour the butter and garlic. Add half a cup of cream cheese, softened, quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper, and one cup of that wonderful Parmesan cheese. And we're going to simply blend that really well, get all the ingredients mixed up until it forms a very soft paste. Now, if it's too thick, go ahead and add one tablespoon of heavy cream, or you could even use some whole milk. You want the cheese mixture to have a nice creamy texture. Now we're going to prep our dough and lay down a little flour on a counter tabletop. Spread that flour out and we're going to take one sheet of puff pastry dough. Now you can make your own puff pastry from scratch, but I'm about saving time, and so I picked up some at the supermarket. With a rolling pin, I'm going to roll out the puff pastry to 12 inches long by about eight and a half inches wide, and make it a little thinner. Be careful when you're working with puff pastry, it's made with a lot of butter, so we don't want to dilly-dally too long when working with the puff pastry. Now score the dough about a half inch from each side and this will allow the edges to rise higher than the center. Go ahead and take a fork and I'm gonna poke little holes and this will help keep the dough from burning. And I like to wipe off any excess flour. Now transfer the dough to a baking sheet and lay it out. And, and begin to apply the cheese mixture within the scored section of the dough. Try to get it as even as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect because it's all gonna melt in the end in the oven. Lay down the asparagus side by side from one end to the other of the dough. And guys, let me tell you, this asparagus tart is phenomenal as an appetizer or a side dish at a family dinner or get together. That really is simple to make. This takes about 20, 25 minutes and really does impress. And lastly, brush the asparagus with a little olive oil and this will keep it from getting dry when it bakes. And now we will place in the oven and bake for approximately 15 minutes at 450 degrees. When the dough is golden brown, remove from the oven. I recommend using a rimless baking sheet, but as you can see, I used a baking sheet turned upside down, and this allows it to slide right off the pan. So what are you waiting for? Get up and try this recipe. Asparagus set in cheese with hints of garlic and parmesan. 
Thank you to everyone for watching, and please remember to smash that like button, hit subscribe, tell a friend. Until next time, see you soon.